got Carly Pierce on the show with us. Just kicked off her tour with uh, Blake Shelton. We'll have you in town March 11th. That's right around the time you'll be dropping your first live album. What made you want to do a project like this? I loved live records as a kid. They were always my favorite. And I feel like this album, just musically and lyrically and just the whole show that we made, really just is such a, it was a defining moment in my career, this whole record. And um, there's just something really special that happened out on the road that I really wanted to bring to life for people that maybe didn't get to see the show or wanted to relive it again. Did you expect that kind of reaction from fans for your latest single, What He Didn't Do? Oh my gosh. No. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's probably the biggest song that I've had as far as like a, just a true authentic fan reaction from the moment that I put it out. Um, and you know, it just, for me, I think it says something that people need to hear, especially after heartbreak. And so I'm proud that this is a song that people are, what for, for uh, that they're resonating with it. Yeah. It's been, it's been working really well here for us in India. Everyone's talking about how much they love it. And you and Ashley McBride, have been the ultimate goals. What has it been like being a woman in Nashville? I mean, I think it's been a time where we've seen women maybe um, not as much in the forefront of our genre. Um, And now over the last few years, we've all just kind of aligned together. And I feel like we are just really showing that women are a very big part of country music. And I'm so proud of, People like Ashley and Lainey Wilson and these girls that are just really crushing it. And I get to, you know, have this song with Ashley and we're showing the next generation, hey, you can freaking do this. You can do it. And Lainey's doing that. And we're all just, I I feel like it's a really exciting time for for women. And we're all so proud of each other. We really are. I love that. Uh, You just picked up the Grammy for Never Wanted to Be That Girl. Where do you keep the trophy? I don't have it yet. It takes a few months to get it, which is such a tease. Um, it is. I'm going to put it, like, on my little – I have, like, a wall with awards and um, old records that my grandparents passed down to me, and it's just, like, a whole thing, and it's going to go right in the middle. Oh, nice. I'm always impressed with the fitness level of artists because the <laughs> things that you're doing on stage have to be physically exhausting, but you're a pretty big runner. Like, do you still get those runs in when you're on tour? You will laugh. So we were snowed in in Lincoln, Nebraska, like could not leave the venue. And I ran six miles through the arena concourse, like <laughs> like a hamster. <laughs> That's actually really impressive. And if you've ever like been a runner before, it's hard to do that when you're just running in the same place over and over and over again. Do you have like oh, a, really? what do you listen to when you run? Do you have like a go-to playlist or anything? Oh my gosh. I've like curated a, playlist that just keeps growing over the years and you would not believe like it goes from hardcore bluegrass to like jay-z to lizzo to adele to um luke bryan i mean it's a very weird (laughs) i I listen to all things everyone has their thing so when you're in town here in like three weeks will you run around the city if you have the chance it depends if it's cold when it's cold i can't do it i'll go to a gym um but I love running like greenways and different things in cities when it's warmer. I'm just like a I'm I'm a pansy when it comes to cold weather. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe um, you could join Cole on the canal. He's always running after the show, and I'm not a good runner. <laughs> you could be a good runner. I'm telling you, you just gotta like get through that little runner's mental block. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not- cheer you guys on. Okay. <laughs> As I scroll through your Instagram, too, I am constantly distracted by your cute dogs. Please tell me more. Oh, my gosh. They are going to be three in April. They're siblings, Johnny and June. They're little shih tzus, and they are the greatest things ever. I am obsessed with them. They are my kids. I love that you said shih tzus because at first I thought you were going to say they were little shits. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they are. A lot of times I'll go, they're shit. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're huge dog people on the show, so we're like always asking about the pets every time we do an interview. Dogs are way more important than music, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we found it pretty interesting. We were looking through kind of like how you got to Nashville and got your start, and I don't, I don't know how much of the story is true, or maybe you can explain to us how you pretty much convinced your parents to move and let you start this dream and kind of, you know, drop out of high school, do homeschooling. How did that conversation go? You know, I think about that conversation now, and I'm like, what was wrong with my parents? <laughs> um, but I, 
I just went to them and I already had a homeschooling program that I had been looking at that, you know, cause I knew my mom's first question was going to be, well, I'm who's going to teach you because I'm not. <laughs> and so I already had that ready. And, you know, I think my parents just really knew this is what I wanted to do. And they trusted that it wasn't me trying to get out of school or anything of that sort. And it was a pretty easy conversation. Yeah. So how, how do you present that to them? Is that like a PowerPoint kind of situation? Did you make a slideshow or something? I mean, I definitely had everything ready. I was like, here it is. Here's the school. These are the reasons why I need to do it. And here you go. But I mean, the fact that they let me do that, it kind of changed the whole course of my life. So I'm really thankful that they, that they did that, you know? Yeah, we're thankful, too. We're going to have you in yeah. town March 11th, opening up for Blake Shelton. What's it like on tour with him, and what can we expect for the show? Well, I kind of have a headache this morning because I was up with him till 2 a.m. <laughs> hanging out, so there's that. Um, Blake is so much fun. He really is just the, the most down-to-earth, fun, what-you-see-is-what-you-get um, guy, and I love watching his show. He's such a such a great singer, such a great just country music artist. Um, and so we have a really good time. He's definitely one of my favorite people that I've ever gotten to tour with, and I'm so happy that I get to do that again. Well, we're glad to see the show. We're happy. We're about a couple weeks away, so hopefully you don't get snowed in here. We don't ever know, though. March in Indy is like it could be 70 yeah. or it could be 20 below. <laughs> oh, you know, I know that. My family always tells me, and that freaking wind out there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, have a great day. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you so much.